What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Kakis and today we are going to be taking a look at the Plug 1.1 Legendary Energy Fusion Rifle. This is one of three new Nightfall exclusive weapons added to Destiny 2 with Season of the Splicer. We're going to be examining its stats and perks to determine its PvE and PvP god rolls so you guys know what to look out for, what to farm for, and if it's worth farming for. And so, let's get started. Now, first things first, let's take a look at this weapon's stats. So, this does belong to the precision frame archetype of fusions. This is going to do a little bit less damage than the high impact frame, but it boasts still pretty darn good range, as well as a much better stability than the high impacts. But when compared to other guns within its archetype, its stats are pretty darn average, with it boasting a little bit better aim assistance and recoil direction than normal. But moving on from there, let's take a look at its perks. Firstly, we have a good selection of different barrels. Generally, what you're looking for is one that's going to increase your range and or stability. A lot of people get laser focused on range, however, stability also matters. It's going to determine how much your gun recoils within a burst. So, you want more stability because it means you can put more fusion bolts on a smaller target at a further distance. So, something like, you know, extended barrel, that's going to increase the range and improve the recoil and just lower the handling, that's a great one. Hammerforge rifling, that's going to increase the range without lowering the stability, that's a great one. Small bore is going to increase the range and stability, so those are all great options. Then you've got the different batteries. So we have kind of the normal assortment of stuff and this comes down a little bit to personal preference. You can go with something that's just going to increase the magazine size for a PVE roll. You can go with something like liquid coils to increase the impact to the maximum amount. But honestly, there's a lot of good choices that come down to personal preference. Moving on from there, let's talk about its main perks. And in that first column, we've got some interesting ones. Firstly, the brand new perk, Heating Up. Final blows with this weapon increase accuracy and stability while improving vertical recoil. Then we've got Under Pressure, improves stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower. We've got Bottomless Grief. Then we've got Killing Wind, where final blows grant increased mobility, range, and handling for a short duration. We've got Feeding Frenzy to increase the reload with rapid kills. And then we've got Quick Draw to draw your weapon faster. Now moving on to that second perk slot, we've got cornered. Now this is a brand new one and actually this is the only weapon in the entire game that can get this perk. It says faster charge time or draw time when surrounded by combatants. Then we've got another new one, Adrenaline Junkie. Grenade final blows grant bonus damage and handling for a moderate duration. Then we've got Kickstart, gain bonus damage and charge rate during a slide after sprinting for a short duration. Then we've got Reservoir Burst, another pretty new one. When the battery is full, your next burst deals additional damage and causes enemies to explode on death. It also gives you plus 30 to your magazine. We've got Backup Plan, which grants reduced charge time and increase handling speed for a short time immediately after swapping to it. And lastly, we have Thresh, where killing combatants give you bonus super energy. Now, when talking about god rolls, here's what you're looking for. First off, for PvP, you definitely want a barrel that's going to give you the biggest stat increase. So small bore is decent, hammerforge rifling, good, even full bore if you're okay with the stability decrease, extended barrel, good as well. And then you're going for something like liquid coils to give you the maximum impact or potentially production fuse for just more range. Then you can go for a couple of different choices in that first perk slot. Heating up and killing wind are going to function pretty similarly, giving you a big boost to your stats if you can get that first kill. And I think both of these would be pretty good. Heating up with a fusion, it may not sound super amazing because it doesn't give you an increase to range, but that accuracy and stability, as I've said, will let you land on target more regularly. But 
honestly, probably the best and most consistent one here is under pressure. Improves stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower. If you're in the crucible, your magazine is almost always low. You only start with two rounds in the mag, so under pressure is a great option. Or if you really want it, quick draw to get the weapon out faster. Then in that second perk slot, I think you're really going for kickstart so you can incorporate slides and then get that huge boost or potentially backup plan and backup plan giving you that reduction in charge time is definitely a wombo combo with quick draw so whip out the fusion really quick get a shot off extremely fast if you're being pushed by a shotgunner that's a great option thresh is finally working in pvp so that's an option as well i think those three are your best bets uh, because the other three are pretty pve centric my complete god roll is probably going to be something like under pressure combined with kickstart or maybe thresh moving on from there however let's talk the pve god rolls and i'm going to add a plural because there's actually a few of them so Definitely, in terms of barrels, you want something more like small bore. You know, you don't want full bore because the increase in a little bit of range is not worth the stability reduction for sure. Then, you know, the battery is really up to you. If you're going for a roll with Reservoir Burst, which is going to be kind of the first thing we're building our god roll around, you do not want a magazine size increase. So you don't want something like Enhanced Battery. Now, Reservoir Burst is fantastic for PvE. And in fact, the current Ritual Weapon, the Null Composure Fusion Rifle, also gets Reservoir Burst. In fact, it gets Feeding Frenzy plus Reservoir Burst. So this can get the Ritual Weapon God Roll, and that is an absolute wombo combo. Reservoir Burst is really powerful. It's basically going to give you a 25% damage increase and then give you a built-in chain reaction explosion, but it only works for that first shot in the magazine. So then Feeding Frenzy, letting you reload super fast and get back to topping off your magazine and activating Reservoir Burst is a really, really good combo. That is definitely my first God Roll. However, another god roll definitely involves cornered. So faster charge time when you're surrounded. So if you're getting charged by thralls, by enemies, you're popping off shots really quickly. That combined with something like Feeding Frenzy as well is actually going to be a pretty darn good combo and could be a great backup we weapon that functions in a scenario that most fusion rifles, in fact, all other fusion rifles, because again, this is the only weapon in the game that can get this perk so far, can't also duplicate. And then lastly, getting a roll around Adrenaline Junkie wouldn't be a bad choice either. Getting a grenade kill is pretty easy, and then getting a damage bonus for doing so, especially with a fusion that hits pretty hard, could be pretty beneficial. And then likely I keep going back to Feeding Frenzy because this is generally the best PvE perk here, but honestly going for Killing Wind, maybe even heating up or even under pressure to just uh, get more lethality out of those shots lets you hit tar targets from further away, that may be a decent choice as well. And so guys, that is it for my roll recommendations. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.